Yeah, Amber, it's another step towards clean energy. The investment that Wolf Speed's making is the largest in the state, and the company makes these game-changing semiconductor materials that they'll use to create efficient products. Plus, it's in Chatham County, an area that has seen a lot of development. It is a day of celebration. Governor Roy Cooper making another announcement toward clean energy. I'm proud to announce that Wolf Speed, an innovative North Carolina company and global leader in semiconductors, will build a major facility in Chatham County, creating more than 1,800 great paying jobs with a historic capital investment of more than $5 billion. The new investment in Chatham County coming on the heels of VinFast and Toyota. From electric cars to car batteries, the latest manufacturing plants coming amid a nationwide semiconductor shortage. The pandemic really exposed vulnerabilities in our entire supply chain. And that's because we were so reliant on countries like China who produce the majority of semiconductor chips around the world. With Wolf Speed producing game-changing material. Silicon carbide is, an, is a new technology that's more efficient. The demand is through the roof. It is absolutely through the roof. We are, we are chasing as hard as we can. North Carolina's at work helping the U.S. keep up with global competition. These new uh, semiconductor materials are going to be used to increase the efficiency of electric vehicle batteries and electric vehicle charging. So this is really the clean energy of tomorrow that's starting right in Chatham County. These supply chains are up for grabs. We shouldn't just assume they're going to come to North Carolina or the United States of America. In fact, companies all around the world are competing to get exactly those investments at home. Well, Speed's also recruiting North Carolinians such as North Carolina A&T college students for the future semiconductor plant. Reporting in Chatham County, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.